horses have really given us, taken us down a few notches over and over and over again. We were flooded so horribly. We had 400 homes flooded, which is 25% of the community, and half of those homes had first floor flooding, which really, the difference between first floor and basement is really incredible. It means you can live there and you can't. But it kind of got everybody on the same page to say, like, wait a minute, these are people's lives that are being affected. So we started in Aetna saying, well, what can we do? We're so small, we're at the bottom of the watershed, we're densely populated, 33% of the community was already impervious surface. And we start looking at ways to, to correct that or mitigate it or balance it in some way. And so that's when we got on the path of like the, what led us to the green master plan and the streetscapes, things that were things that we ourselves could do for ourselves. And then the community embraced it, you know, and that felt so good. It's like people want this. They want to be able to be part of something that makes it better. So it just took off from there. It has just snowballed more or less, you know, over the years. It's just gotten bigger and better and more inclusive. It just seems like uh, the amount of people that are now aware of this is just, yeah, it's just increased so much. So yeah, I would say, Really, we, we have a very cohesive group of volunteers and people that really care about the community and want to see it be the best that it can be. Well, I believe that everybody that we have worked with brings out with them that they have had successes, they have experience, and that they certainly have a desire to go forward and, uh, and make things better all the time. At every turn, they're trying to, everybody, everybody looks around and says, what would, what would they do if they had the opportunity? And now with our eco program, we're, we do have opportunities. And the residents of Aetna that I've come to know, you know, through the, uh, through the eco meetings, they can uh, join the conversation and they can also be part of something that is going forward and upward. They can see the improvements being made and they know that they're being heard and they're part of it. We started getting involved in the community because when we moved here, we really wanted to invest in the place that we live, um, invest in our neighbors and the people around us. And from the second that we moved here to Aetna, it has been just such a vibrant place um, of just people doing things and, and everybody else being involved, with, which just got us really excited about it um, because we plan on being here for a while and, and we love it and we love our neighbors and we want our neighbors to stay. Um, and so I think that's what, gets, that's what gets me really excited. Walking into that cozy restaurant with just a couple of people who I'd seen around, who I had shopped a one or two ideas with, and they were like, cool, I think there's some other people talking about this kind of stuff in the neighborhood, and you should meet them. And I walked in, and it was great. The discussion was on what can we do to bring these ideas to reality, and how do we get more people involved? Eco District is a planning process that made sense for the community here because it ties together different initiatives that were happening around town and creating kind of a shared narrative, a shared front for people to really rally around each other with. And one of the reasons people really wanted to do that was because, you know, as we faced economic downturn and environmental degradation, there was a real motivation in the community to turn the story around. Um, and through partnership, through collaboration, through creating strategies that made sense for the community around food, water, energy, air quality, mobility, and equity, we really started to work our way into the next economy for the community. I had heard about the work in Millville and I thought that that was really impressive and very interesting and really benefited the community. And I was hopeful that something like that would be fostered in Aetna as well. So that really drew me in immediately. I was totally blown away at how many people attended, how many people showed interest, and especially how many people stayed until past the end of the meeting. I kind of saw it, people might kind of leave or, you know, come for a little bit and then leave after they had an understanding of what the meeting was about. Um, but 
The room was packed and everyone stayed until the end and well past the end of the meeting. When I, when I came in the first time, I just kind of sat back and listened. I didn't necessarily feel like I couldn't speak out at the, the first meeting. It was just kind of more like sitting back and trying to see where everyone's coming from and what, what the plans were. Um, I think by the time I came to my, was it, maybe it was my second or third meeting, then I was like, oh, I have an idea. So, <laughs> and I was like, and this would be the place to like definitely come out and tell people my idea. And so I've always walked around Aetna in my mind imagining the potential um, for Aetna, but to find a group of people that also were thinking the same thing and actually speaking it out loud. And I was like, oh, well, maybe this is where I should have been the whole time. I think the Eco Districts model is a really good fit here and it's, it's resonating with people here because it's not just about sustainability. It's not just about brick and mortar development. It's really rooted in social equity, which means that everyone who lives here, everyone who has a stake in this community, who has dedicated themselves to this community deserves to have a say in what happens next. Uh, and they are the experts in their community. So working with the Eco Districts model and with the Triborough Eco District specifically, has been so powerful because it really shows the power of grassroots engagement in these topics. For me personally, being able to contribute to kind of at large advancing social equity and social justice in a world of rapid change, um, rapid change within this community within the greater Pittsburgh region, being able to contribute in a way where those being affected by change, those living in their own community that is changing, for them to be able to have ownership and to be able to have a say in how, are their, how their future is going to pan out, there's, that's so invaluable. That is, that is a major driver of how we need to start looking at community, community development, community planning, and being able to shape our own futures. I think one of the similarities, one of the things that I've, I've really enjoyed working with Aetna, Millville, and Sharpsburg is the sense of community and feeling kind of a part of that family of people. Everyone has been so accepting, so warm, so excited, so extremely engaged in the process and invested in the outcomes of it. And that's something that, you know, each, I've, I've, I've really felt that in each community in a slightly different way. And, and that's one of the things I've really loved about working in all three. When we started the Aetna Eco District Initiative in 2016, we wanted to build on the good work already in progress in the borough of Aetna, but we wanted to expand, engage, and activate more people to build a larger base of support for the work. The first reason the initiative took off is that the mission is very clear. We want a healthier and more vibrant community. And so we've never questioned that. Sustainability, it's not a choice here in Aetna. It's a requirement, it's an imperative. And so we have to do this work. We are at the base of a 67 square mile watershed. We understand how the built environment and the natural environment can create life-threatening conditions. The idea of a sustainable neighborhood, it's not an abstract concept. It's real to us. We understand how water and air impact the quality of our lives. We understand how our choices in food, mobility, and energy, how those contribute and impact our personal finances and our health. That's why we do this work. Air quality is an important issue to me because I learned through this process how much air quality can affect your health, especially the health of children, and I have two children. And I wasn't actually even aware before we started the Eco District process how poor the air quality in the Pittsburgh region still is, even after all the improvements that have been done. So we led a little water walk with um, smaller children down by Pine Creek. And what we mostly did was just like discovering the little parts of Pine Creek. We like looked at rocks and what is under rocks and where are flowers and just kind of, yeah, we just looked at the little tiny details of the nature trail and um, 
Yeah, it's just important to get kids like right from the beginning, um, like be in touch with nature and like discover it and um, just like learn that they are part of it. So hopefully later on they'll protect it and you know they'll feel connected to it. Well, I, I love this community. My, you know, I raise my kids here and um, I just see it like growing and a lot of young children moving back into the community. So I think it's you know, just great to make it even a better place than it was when, when my kids were little. You know, my husband and I were talking about like today we went bike riding, you know, which is, you know, great along the rivers around here. But, you know, in a couple of years, hope, you know, it, it, it's happening, uh, you know, that we'll be able to just ride our bike from our house right down to the river. And, you know, we don't even have to get in our car anymore. So that's like a really, really nice asset for this community. You know, the food is, is important, but I think just um, engaging you know, especially new people in the community, like, you know, like making them feel welcome and getting them, um, you know, involved and, you know, working together. And like when I grew up, you know, the people kind of looked out for each other. And I think this town kind of is like that too. And kind of just to, you know, continue that and make people like feel like they're connected. I think as a whole that we've the whole community has been growing together as a community because everyone is starting to work with everyone else and everyone's starting to have relationships like the churches work together and the committees work together and the borough works with us and so I think we're doing a really good job at bringing everyone onto the same page as it were. There's just a spirit of fellowship in this community where we want it to be a good place, we want it to be a safe place, we want it to be a beautiful place for everyone. So before we opened, I knew that Aetna had big things coming to it. I, I told people, Aetna is the one where you might have to be a little more patient than some of the other local towns, but I feel like we're gonna get there. Although now I'm saying I think we're gonna get there faster. <laughs> so, which is great because we've got a smaller downtown area. So we can get to know our neighbors and our, rel our, our neighbors, our friends, our coworkers, you know, the people who come here for any reason, um, whether they live here or not. And then we can get to know each other and, you know, just be a tight knit, close community who just supports each other and helps each other succeed. It gives me an immense pleasure and a proud feeling to be a part of the Aetna community. And Aetna community has not only given me the platform to work on their sustainability initiatives, but also have helped me in fulfilling the passion of working for a community. It's about local leadership, um, frankly, is what it comes down to. Early on in the process, we were deciding between a model that the Triborough might be um, one eco-district that involves all three communities, or it could be more of a, a technical support and a collaboration mechanism that would support three independently operating uh, eco-districts where opting into collaboration um, doesn't mean you're giving up your, your own ownership and your own commitment to your community. And we did land on the, on the second model, and I think um, that tapped into ideas of civic pride, um, people wanting to be a part of community, people wanting to own and, and, and feel um, committed to the space that they call home and having a, an ability to, to have agency over their communities. And I think that move in and of itself, really just honoring everybody's local leadership. And then just, I mean, look at the people that are involved. It's just an amazing group of people that are so truly committed to their neighborhood. Well, I love the time. Well, I think we need younger people getting involved. I, I was uh, in my 20s when I first ran, and I've been president of council for uh, 44 consecutive years. I'm happy to see uh, people who uh, are fairly new to it now are coming around and being involved, playing a role. I don't agree with everything they say, but I think uh, it's good for the time to have different people involved and uh, wanting to play a role.